So my garage workouts have consisted for the past three years of a bar that I picked up at uh, Played Again Sports. Um, it was used. It sits out in the garage with temperatures ranging in the negatives to 100 degrees. Um, it's held up pretty well. Um, but on that, I went through two different types of bumper plates. Uh, my original bumper plates were the Rage. These are about three years old. I got a set of two of them. I played against sports even though they were new. These are 45 pounds. And then about a year later, um, during the pandemic when there was a shortage, got these at a local uh, Dick's Sporting Goods store, the Ethos. I got 10 pounds. I ended up getting two. And then about six months later, I got two more. Uh, and as I said, these sit out in the garage and they sat out here for years, um, from extreme cold to extreme hot. Uh, I also work on a cement floor, so there's a lot of bumping and padding that goes on <clears throat> just on the hard concrete. I do have a yoga mat, but really, I don't pay attention to having any sort of padding for these. This is the reason why I got the bumper plates. So, how do they hold up? So, these are the Rage. The Rage, 45 pounds. Um, about three years old. I believe they changed the style just a little bit to a black and white and they do run a little bit cheaper for most of the weights, not all, but most of the weights than the Ethos. Um, overall, I think they've held up really good. I, you can tell I've really dinged them, banged them around, uh, a lot of scuff marks, uh, a lot of scratches, haven't lost any weight, uh, they still have a good edge to them, they still have a good roll to them. Um, you can tell no damage and the bar still slides in and out really well. Uh, no issues with compression or expansion in this and not fitting in and out of the bar. So these have been a great purchase. Uh, as I said they run a little bit cheaper than the Ethos but they've held up for three years. These are 45 pounds so they have probably about a two inch, two and a half inch diameter here. So when they hit the ground they have a lot of stability things go pretty well um, even though on my garage floor there's often nails rocks things like that no puncture wounds nothing like that they've done a great job now for the ethos was a little bit more worried about these these are 10 pounds you can see there's quite a big difference just in a 10 pound and a 45 pound in thickness right we're talking uh, maybe three quarters of an inch here and I was worried about keeping these up on to my bar and just letting them sit there. I usually don't let just 10 pounds on each side sit because I get worried about them kind of folding over. Uh, but you can see they sit pretty well on the bar. They're slight leaning. Mainly that's because it's hard to get a nice flush part right here. Um, they like to tilt just a little bit, but they've been really stable. The other part is, so these are one to two years old. They well have taken a beating, um, but no puncture wounds. Um, they have held their shape really well. They don't have any bending in them. They're not warped, good intact. They got a good ridge. Uh, we've really done a good job uh, beating them down and utilizing them. You can see in here quite a big, large scuffs. So I've been really impressed with these. Got these on sale. I believe they're. 10 and 45 pounds are a little bit more expensive than the Rage. Uh, some of their middle weights are the same. But you can see on the bar, right here, even the 10 pounds, you know, they take a good beating and they held up really well. So I've been lucky with both these. I've seen out in reviews that many of the smaller weights have been uh, warped, things of that. And I've had zero issues with either of these, the Ethos, my 10 pound Ethos or my 45 pound range with any of those issues. The construction has been great.